the good thing about failure it allows you an opportunity to try again so when you fail don't stay there wake up dust off pick up the pieces and try again because at the end of the day that person who has tried and failed is better way better than that person who has not tried Hello people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever time you are watching this video. Welcome to Congo Jenga YouTube channel where we uh, inspire, we educate and also we entertain. Um, today I would like us to talk about something that is very timely and very interesting. But before you get to that, I would kindly request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to also like and share and turn notification uh, on. So that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. So today I would like to talk about something I had talked about uh, some days to uh, the, the, the general elections. That was I think on on fifth. I can't remember the date very well. Um, I talked about us embracing peace and also um, not engaging in fight and in anything that will. Uh, destroy uh, or interfere with the peace of this country during and also after the elections and I'm glad that the country has remained peaceful um, from that time to date and now we are waiting eagerly waiting for the Supreme Court judgment that is coming up on Monday the 5th of September and um, here to also, again, I uh, request you to kindly maintain peace uh, because um, this is something that will come and go and this is something that will, maybe it will not go, it will not, the judgment will not come as you expected. The judgment will not come maybe as many Kenyans would have expected. We all have different uh, democratic opinions, but let us remember that in everything, in everything that we do, we need our brother who is, um, or rather our neighbor. You need that person who is next to you. You need to live in harmony with that person. Because in my last video, I said we, we, we fight over politicians, but those politicians, in the evening, they, they, they meet somewhere in a, in a big hotel. They share uh, maybe dinner. They share the, their experiences uh, during the day. They share their experiences over the campaign period. They share their experiences during the election. They even share their experiences during the, the, the ongoing um, Supreme Court battle. So they don't fight and you will never see them fighting. They will always uh, throw ads against each other uh, during campaigns because that is that is what they know best. But for us, for you as an ordinary Kenyan, especially the youth, you need to be very alert. You need to be very woke and realize that it is not important for you to fight for any politician. It will not add any value in your life. It will not add anything, anything. Like say, for example, today I go online and I start uh, throwing words to someone who is supporting my opponent. At the end of the day, the words I'm throwing to that person will not add anything in my pocket. I will not gain from that person. I will not gain from the words that I have thrown to you. Who is not supporting my, my 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 the person that I'm supporting? But if we sit and and agree that yes, we have different democratic opinions, but we are Kenyans. <clears throat> I need you tomorrow. You need to meet. You need me tomorrow. So what is important? Let's keep our differences aside. Let's keep our political differences aside, and focus on growing each other. Because I will tell you for a fact. When you need help, you will not run to that presidential candidate. You will not run to that 
um, governor to that MP to that MCA before you get to the point of running to that MCA yeah the MCA is the closest person in, uh, that you can reach but before you get to that MCA you will have gone to your neighbor and of course you can't go to to your MCA to to borrow some something like wezi kuji kwenda kwa MCA kuomba chumvi ama kiberiti but you can come to me your immediate neighbor so uh, that should tell you that should show us that we really need to <coughs> live in harmony with each other we really need to live in harmony with our neighbors our colleagues and everyone around us because you don't know you don't know who you, you will need tomorrow we don't know about tomorrow we don't know what may happen tomorrow maybe that person you 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 insulting online that person you are insulting because he is not supporting your candidate maybe that person is your help tomorrow how will you come to to seek my help if you insulted me yesterday because of a politician will i even be able to help you so my appeal to us all and this is basically to the young generation because we are the people who are carried away by politics so much yet most of us don't vote if we were to be very honest i can promise you that a very good percentage of the youth never voted but they were they, they are all online insulting each other over leaders that they never even voted so um let us live in harmony let us not uh utter words that will hurt other people because of a politician because this country is bigger than that politician that you are you are supporting this country is bigger than that person that you think that he is the one that can make kenya better than it is let me tell you something despite whether 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 Raila Odinga or William Ruto becomes the president you have a responsibility to go out and work none of them will come and bring you food uh at your place you have to walk out and go and work for it so if we get to have that mentality that it is not about even if it's about who the one who 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 takes the presidency let's also remember that those people will not come to to cater for our basic needs yes they may make the environment favorable for for business and for work but one thing they'll never do they never come and knock at your door and tell you i know you supported me usiende kazi nitakuwa nakulipa every month or nitakuwa nakuletea kitu ya kukula they will never do that and that will never happen i want you to 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 remember something when when a politician is looking for that seat they spend millions they spend a lot of money to get that job imagine you are a young person you are there uh you are mp for example your mp spent millions during campaigns to secure that position and you're there seated waiting for the same mp to give you a job without doing anything without making any effort how will you expect that person to give you a job when he himself spent worked for it he never slept he never used to sleep if you if you look at some of those politicians wakianza campaign walikuwa na na a very good body so to say but say wa muslim as in you you will you will be sure you will from the look of them you will see that it was not a walk in the park they did a lot of effort they did a lot of a lot a lot a lot so if they they struggled all that to get to that position how do you expect them to just give you a job without working for it without working and going to apply for that job going to that interview 
you see there is a kikuyu saying uh, uh, for those who don't understand kikuyu there is a kikuyu saying that says si akolire wa somuoda that simply means for those who don't understand uh, whatever whatever comes to you if you are to get something if for example you are to get a position say for example a loyalty position from maybe someone you are campaigning for they must find you doing something don't sit and wait for that politician you are campaigning for to give you a job because they will not they they worked for that you have also to work to earn that job that you are looking for so and again it is not a guarantee it is not a guarantee that you have to be paid back because you supported someone it is not a guarantee so just work out work for it and work for it expecting to get and maybe not to get because the problem with uh, most young people you go to apply a job and you go to apply that job expecting that you will not you will get it and when sadly you don't get it you get stressed you start now behaving weirdly and uh you end up maybe uh becoming a, a very a very bad person in the society or a very frustrated person so um let's let's be positive but even as we are positive let's also have that understanding that sometimes we try and it fails and the good thing about failure even if failure is not good but the, so whatever you want to do just try do you want to start a youtube channel just open that youtube channel start building your content and one day it will pay off you will have of course critics who will tell you these things don't pay these things you know you need connections you need all that but you need to be persistent you need to be persistent uh, you need to be um very patient because again good things take time and as i have said you better fail after you've started than not start because someone who has started and failed is better way better than someone who has not started so just brace yourself be brave understand that um even those who have made it in life it's just a decision they made to start so if you don't make that decision when will you ever start you have to make that bold decision you have to make that bold decision because if you make that bold decision maybe today at the end of the day maybe after let's say even 10 years you will remember that day that you made that decision you will remember that day that you stopped being uh, fearful and you decided to be brave and you decided to take up a challenge because that challenge it will pay off so guys uh, especially the young people and everyone the best way to the best uh, road to your success it's by starting just start and it will pay off someday it doesn't matter how long it will take but finally i can assure you something that you have started it will pay off and when you fail when you fail don't stay there look at the mistakes that you did in the process go back and mend those mistakes do it better uh, next time and at the end of the day you will have something that you will be proud of so guys that is uh, my 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 advice to you today and uh, let's embrace peace let's be in harmony with one another and let's not forget 
that Kenya belongs to all of us and when we are at peace with one another, the whole country is at peace. So let's remain peaceful and let's remain committed to building a more peaceful country. So thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to comment, remember to share and most importantly, remember to turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we upload a new video. Bye-bye.